So when you're building out your network, LED lights may be optional, but patch cables are not. And ideally you want your patch cables to be nice, neat, clean, because cable management matters, uh, or at least does to me and hopefully to you as well. I've, we've all seen our share of nightmares of unmanaged patch, uh, patch cables that are just kind of scattered everywhere. And I wanted to do some samples here of different cables that I ordered. Uh, all these I ordered from, all well, these thin ones are from Monoprice. I just don't recall because we've had these so long uh, where I got these from at the moment. They might be Monoprice cables as well. I actually think they are. Uh, we bought these in bulk a while back. But these really thin ones are kind of interesting. So let me switch to the overhead here so you can get you a better idea what these cables look like. So these are the familiar cat patch cables that you generally see. Granted, these are pretty short, uh, but you know, common standard size that's pretty popular right now. And this is the newer TIA568 dot 2-D recognized 28 gauge patch cable. So they went down a little bit in cable size and well, there's definitely a savings there. Now, the being recognized and being an ANSI standard for these TIA ANSI standard means these are recognized to be used for CAT6, for full uh, transfer speeds and for PoE. And the downside is when you go over with PoE, as you go to smaller cables, you have resistance, which can build up some heat and cause loss in power delivery. Now I'll link to a research done by the IEEE labs, I believe. Uh, they have a whole step-by-step -step process and testing and some cool photos to go with it of how they did the testing and certified that you can run PoE over 28 gauge and you know, how that works. And it works fine, obviously, with individual cables, but once you start bundling them, they talk about the heat issues that can come and any of the power losses that might come with it. So while you can make the cables thinner, the laws of physics, well, they still apply. You can only get so much so many watts over thinner pieces of copper, there's always going to be some conductivity issues. Like some of the things I tested this with, which was cameras and things like that, they're low wattage anyway, so the losses are so minimal and not really a big deal. And if you're only using them for the patch side of it, not a big deal at all because, well, most of it's gonna be run with your standard, you know, riser or plenum cables uh, to get to the device. And then we're just talking about the patching part here at the very end. But then Monoprice goes a step further. And I didn't find anything in reference to certifications of these cables, but these are the new Monoprice Slim lines. And wow, when they say slim, this goes all the way down to 32 gauge. So this is a much thinner cable and it's even thinner, of course, than the 28 gauge here. And I have tested this with both PoE and 10 gig. These are CAT6. I mean, tiny little 32 gauge CAT6 cables. Now, granted, you go even more resistance when you cut down to 32 gauge, but I did a little bit of reading and Monoprice claims that they can wind these tighter. Uh, they're able to maintain the data rates, which, like I said, I didn't do anything more than just test with my computer that would link at 10 gig and send 10 gig file over it and it did. So that didn't seem to affect it. Uh, I didn't try to any maximum distances, but I'm pretty impressed, and especially for a shorter patch cable. These are, uh, you know, really interesting. So let's take a little bit closer look at them. So when you lay these cables all side by side, there is a substantially smaller amount of cable in here. And that adds up. As you're adding a lot of cables and doing a lot of patching, there is just uh, you know, it turns into a, a rat's nest pretty quick of just messy cables. But when you have thinner cables to start with, well, it makes cable management that much easier, whether you're running them through the finger trays or uh, through some type of other horizontal or vertical cable management when you have a lot of patching to do. These just make it a lot easier to get a bunch of cables together, especially when, let's look at a handful of them together. So here's four cables and four cables all pushed together. Once you push them together kind of tight like this, it's barely thicker than a single one of these. So as you get into doing a much larger install, you can see that this is gonna make a really big difference in terms of the amount of cabling that you have on there. So this is, uh, you know, impressive that they're able to perform this way and that it still works at higher speeds. And, but I wanted to go a step further and not just you know, say, hey, these are cool. Uh, I cut the end off one and I, well, I have a macro lens here. So we're gonna dig under the macro here and show you just how thin these wires are because they're just about like hairs when you're looking at them. So it's really impressive. So as I'm staring them under the macro, so you can kind of get the idea that these are really thin under the macro. This is just almost like hair, tiny hairs seeing them. And there's for size difference reference here. This is a standard CAT5 cable. 
just absolutely, the copper inside a Cat5 cable is thicker than the jacketed one inside of here. So these are like amazingly tiny and in terms like that, it's just absolutely impressive just how small these cables are, but are still able to work. So I'm, you know, sacrificing a cable is worth it because I, you know, I wanted to see just how thin these are. But I also want to talk about the other ones that I've started keeping in my bag with me. So I traditionally use some of the thin flat cables because they're easier to bundle up when I have, you know, going out somewhere, I need to fix a switch, need to fix a router, need to plug my laptop into it. Uh, and having a bag with a big bundled thick cable, not always all that convenient, but having these, these come in all the way up to 50 feet and they have the little push clip on them and the little spring on them. So they're a little bit more durable. This is only only slightly thicker than their thin line. It's still part of the thin line, but it's like a heavier duty one. And this is something I keep in my network. And like I said, these are really well made and I like the advantage of having the little push on there. And if you uh, aren't familiar with why you would care if those are on there, you've never currently had one of those computers that the network card is slightly recessed and it's hard to get to the stupid uh, push clip on there and you end up pulling your pocket knife out. But with this, I can just push that down and clip it back out. So these are kind of my new go-to for my bag. I've got a few more in order, some longer ones, uh, cause they just bundle up really, really nice. So being able to just uh, quickly do this and have a nice tight little set up for the network cable, definitely great. So for patch management, I really, I, I haven't done, but a few small jobs of the, none of them PO weeks. I'm not comfortable enough yet, unless someone, you know, can really tell me, I guess I know the resistance ratings on 32 gauge wire. It should be fine for PO. I've certainly tested here and left things on here at the office, including uh, other like unified, uh, wireless and unified cameras, including turning on the night vision on them. So they're using a, you know, I think they use like 15 Watts max. And these don't even seem, I don't have a FLIR camera, but to the touch, I can't feel any noticeable heat in them. But obviously it still worries me a little bit because that just feels wrong to have wires that thin and PoE. And I know that these have been lab tested and I'll leave a link to that uh, where you have the standard 28 gauge. Now we've used plenty of these. Now all these come in a variety of colors. I have links below uh, for where you can purchase these on Amazon. They're affiliate links. So if you want to help out the channel, that's appreciated. If you don't, well, you can go buy them wherever you want then <laughs> or don't click my affiliate links. Uh, but I do appreciate any of you that want to help me out. But yeah, these are pretty cool. For non-POE applications, I'm gonna say these might be my go-to for my next big job uh, that we do. And I'd love to you know, share some photos or whatever if you uh, want in the forums, if you've used these before. Uh, I'm kind of curious of any big installs. I have some photos. I think I maybe will have a couple photos of installs we've done with these, which are great. And uh, I like that they all come in a big variety of colors. And someone had asked me about this uh, before about color management. and we have all these different colors because like this red one right here happens to be what feeds it. So when you're building things out, it's nice to use color coding. Uh, it can be convenient that way if you're not there and someone unplugs it and you match everything up, you're like, oh, no, 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 there was a red wire in here because we have the trunk one set to here and the VLAN one set to these colors. Or, or if you're, you know, mixing and matching uh, devices and it just looks cool when you build a rack and it's kind of like all these colored ones are here and all those colored ones are there and uh, match everything. But anyways, like I said, links below where you can get these. Uh, so far, I'm impressed with them. The speed and everything seems good. I'm it's just amazing to me that they got this. It, it feels weird that technology, it, it's just thinner cable almost, but it's uh, it still feels very like modern and new. I can't wait to maybe do one large job with a bunch of these cables. Maybe I'll do a bulk order of these. Uh, so I think we're finally running out of all these that we usually stock in the back. So I double checked. I didn't find any photos I had of these cables installed, but these are the 28 gauge, not the ultra slim, but 28 gauge cables. And you can see what a difference they make on an install of how nice, neat and clean this looks. So here's a couple different pictures. Like I said, this is public on his, uh, their Sprinter Business Solutions, Facebook, Sprinter Business, uh, Facebook slash Sprinter Business, my friend Chris's company. Uh, but yeah, it makes for a really nice look. Also, when you look at the cable management uh, from this standpoint, if you were using standardized cables, this would be, you know, this is where those bundles start getting thicker and thicker when you're trying to uh, mess them. Look how thick the cables are coming to it but look how thin they are on this side for the patch cable. So I'm really a fan of these. I'm looking forward to the next job we do where I can uh, spec this out if it's a non-POE job and use all the really thin cables, uh, you know, makes it that much kind of a nicer, neater look.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.